You know, when I typically think of a meat dish from the Balkans, this is what comes to mind. Crazy hamburger! Crazy hamburger! But now when I hear of a meat dish from the Balkans, I think of this. Javapi. Mmm, smells like war crimes and petty internet common fight arguments. All right, before we get to the beef, let's start with the aromatics. I have here half a large onion diced into six and three to four cloves of garlic. And I'm gonna add them to my mini food processor. And we're gonna chop these to itty bitty pieces. So tiny that you won't be able to put them back together like that one scene in the movie Lord of War. This piece goes here. Oh, this one fits together quite well. There we go. Yeah, the crazy thing is that's one of Nicolas Cage's better movies. Top away. All right, this looks good. Ah, we can't get to the beef just yet. Let's make a sauce for our chivapi. Since this is an Eastern European dish, it's either going to be made with paprika, the red pepper, can't stop the spirits when they need you. The non-hot kind. Or sour cream. And yeah, we're going to go with a cream-based sauce. And listen, in Balkan food, there's this thing similar to sour cream, but using actual sour cream, it'll work. So to a bowl, let's add one cup of sour cream. Three ounces of chopped chives. One teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. And this is optional, but I just want to add just half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Well, listen, I don't care what these balconers say. The addition of garlic powder is so good. Okay, now we can begin some Balkan beef. Well, um, actual beef, that is. Not calling your neighboring countrymen gay femboys in the YouTube comments section. So, I have in here two pounds of ground beef. And, yes, please use an 80-20 mixture. Trust me, Balkaners have suffered enough. Let's add our diced onion garlic mix from earlier. And now for our spices. Let's add one teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Then let's add two teaspoons of paprika. And then let's add the most Balkan ingredient of them all. So what is it? Croatian wine? Serbian rakia? The tears of orphan Kosovans? Nope. Vegeta. First of all, I... No, not the Guido, Vegetta. Nope, oh, this is a dried seasoning mix that's used all the time in Eastern European cooking. And uh, if you need further proof, boom, made in Croatia. And since some Balkaners are still kind of pissy about the NATO bombings of 1999, mm -hmm. uh, there isn't a huge influx of Balkan communities throughout the US, which means this isn't gonna be available in your local Safeway grocery store. So I linked this in the description if you want some. Since there's already salt in here, we can't go too crazy with it, so let's just add a teaspoon. And finally, half a teaspoon of baking soda. This will give our chavapi a nice meaty marshmallowy texture. And to make it and to make it more marshmallowy, let's add two-thirds a cup of sparkling water. Mix everything together with your hands. All right, nice and homogenous. I'm gonna transfer this to a smaller bowl because there's not enough room in my fridge. Cover in saran wrap, and let this marinate in the fridge for a minimum of one hour. All right, it's been an hour. The meat should be done marinating, and now it's time to form them. And since they call it a caseless sausage, Chefs treat it like an actual sauce, which, is mean, which means putting it in a piping bag and then squirting it out. 
But uh, personally, I think you're following directions too literally. So really, you can just form it with your hands. Let's grab eh, a tennis ball size blob of our meat mixer. Roll it out into a nice oblong shape. Boom, Chivapi. Next, let's get to cooking. I have here a saute pan, and we're gonna set that over medium high heat. I know, and yes, I know Chivapi is cooked over a charcoal grill. Well, first off, I live in a 21st century first world country. There's no need to use the cooking methods of old. Second, the Maillard reaction just makes everything taste better. All right, so let me toss in a little oil. All right, next, let's drop our logs. It's a poop joke, get it? Into our hot pan. Try not to overcrowd it. Let them cook for about eh, roughly two minutes aside. All right, and after about two minutes, using a pair of tongs, gently flip them over. Once they get nice crisp all over, let's transfer them to a separate plate. Now, you can simply have these by themselves, or grab a pita and make a sandwich out of it. All right, let's add a few chivapis. Sliced raw white onion. And our sour cream sauce we made earlier. And uh, I think I should bring up the elephant in the room. My Arab viewers will look at this and say, hey, wait a minute, that's Kefta. It's our invention, not theirs. To which I have to say, yep, Ottoman oppression will do that to ya. <laughs> this has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Monday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Another thing, Arabs, don't get into a comment section fight with Balkans. You will lose.